What is up, everybody? Um, I am here to state something that needs to be said really fast, which is to Music Biz Marty, you need to stop fucking lying, you stupid little bitch. Because you don't have any medical issues for you're just trying to use that so people feel fucking sorry for you. First off, that's what that is. Second off, you need to stay the fuck out of my goddamn shit, dude. Because I know what you're trying to do. You're trying to force me to get on your panel and trying to get me to rage out. And I'm sorry to say, dude, it's not going to fucking happen. Fuck you. I'm not going on your goddamn panel. I'm not raging out. I'm doing my shit. Okay? Yes, I may not be doing as much as I used to because I'm currently on break. But I'm telling you this right now, Nicholas Beagler, if you do not stay out of my account, I will be showing YouTube staff that you are breaking into my account and have done so multiple times. And you will be charged for that. So if I was you, I would back the fuck off and leave my shit alone. Stay the fuck out of my shit. If I want to post, you know, old uploads or post music, I should be allowed to do so. I shouldn't have to fucking answer to you, motherfucker. I shouldn't have to fucking answer to a low-life piece of shit who goes around and lies to people like you do. Because we all know that's what you do, Nick. You're a fucking liar. You're a sack of shit. You're a fucking bitch face liar. You lie to your people. Say, oh, I got something wrong with me. Nigga, no, you don't. You're just using that as an excuse to make people feel sorry for you because you're a piece of fucking shit. You're lazy as fuck. You're a lazy fucking scumbag. And you want people to feel sorry for you. Well, guess what, bitch? No one feels sorry for you. I know I don't. You're a fucking piece of shit looking for a way to make money. And because you're not making money off of me, you are now trying other means of shutting me down because you don't want me making money. You don't want me making money unless you're involved. Well, I'm sorry, motherfucker. You're not my boss. You're not my mom. You're not my dad. So fuck off. Because you don't fucking matter. Just like the troll community don't fucking matter. So I'm giving you a warning right now, Nick. Stay the fuck out of my goddamn shit before we have problems. I left YouTube entirely to get away from you, but it seems I'm not allowed to do that, am I? I'm not allowed to get away from you, am I? Because you want me to respond, but uh, here's the thing, fat fuck. I'm not going to respond to you. I'm not getting on your panel. I'm not giving you what you or N-Word Boy or William want. And I'm sorry if you don't like it, but guess what, bitch? It's my life. I should be allowed to do whatever the fuck I want to do, whenever the fuck I want, without being attacked and without being told, oh, you're not allowed to do this. Man, nigga, fuck you. It's my shit. If I want to post music or if I want to post old uploads, I'm allowed to do it because guess what? It's my channel, dumb fuck. It is my fucking channel, not yours. You don't own me. William don't own me. N-word boy don't own me. You guys are a bunch of frauds, phonies, pathetic, lazy little bitches that don't want to fucking do jack shit. All you do is you sit there and you make money off the backs of other people because motherfuckers like me look weird. So you decide to go around and do the shit that you fucking do to make us and people like me look like shit. Also, you can make a living. You're a scam artist, motherfucker. That's why you're scared of me, ain't it? Because you know I'm calling you the fuck out. Oh, and, uh, N-word, bitch, fuck you, nigga. Because guess what, dude? I know who the fuck you called, and guess what? 
when Adult Protective Services does show up, all we got to do is show them what you guys are fucking doing. And guess what? You guys will be going bye-bye. Because YouTube staff already knows what you're doing. And pretty soon law enforcement is going to be aware of what you're doing. Now, you might think, well, oh, we chased you off of, two, off of YouTube. We, we chased you off. We chased you off. No, you didn't. I left on my own fucking accord, dude. I left on my own. You did not chase me off. I did not run away. I left to better myself. And because of the fucked up state that YouTube is currently in, that's why I stepped away. And Marty, I'm telling you right now, if you do not stay out of my fucking shit, if you and your little fucking friends don't stay out of my shit, if your little fuck buddies and we're William William don't stay out of my shit along with you, we're going to have fucking problems. And I will be reporting you guys to YouTube and I will continue to report you to YouTube and to the proper authorities. Because you guys are pieces of fucking shit. You're a bunch of low lives that don't have lives. You sit there and you prey on the weak. You prey on the weak so you can make money off of their backs. Because you think it's cute and funny to attack the weak. You think it's funny to attack those that look different. Because you guys don't have talent. You guys don't have anything going for you. So what do you do? You attack people like myself to make a living. And it's disgusting, dude. Now, Marty, this is your one and final warning. Stop tearing down my shit. Otherwise, I will be getting a hold of your family members. I will be getting a hold of YouTube staff. And I will be calling the police and the FBI and detectives on your ass. Won't be that hard to do that with the FBI, especially considering the fact you have a motherfucking case against you already from that shit you did to Foodie Beauty. So how hard do you really think it'll be for me to reach out to the FBI in your area? Like I said, the only reason why I didn't reach out to him sooner is because I was giving you a chance to walk away, motherfucker. I was giving you a chance to leave peacefully. I was giving you a chance to walk away, hoping you would be smart enough to leave in peace. But uh, looks like that ain't happening, is it? Nope. So now I have to take it to the next level and treat you like the baby back bitch that you are and put you in your place. Now I, now I have to show you who the real boss is, which is me. Now I have to show you who your daddy is, which is me. So like I said, Marty, you can forget about me coming on your panels because I'm not doing it. I don't care what you say. I don't care what you do. I'm not going on your panel. I'm not raging out. I'm not giving you and the troll community what they want. You guys can kiss my fucking ass. But this is your fair warning, Nicholas faggot. You dumb bitch. Either stay out of my fucking shit and leave me the fuck alone. Or I'm going to take all the evidence showing that you're breaking into my shit. And send all that to YouTube on top of everything that I've already got going against you. So Nick, if I was you, I would seriously fuck off. Stop if you want to if you want to create content, that's fine. But stop fucking doing the shit you're doing. Stop attacking people to make a quick buck. That's lazy. And it's motherfuckers like you that are a cancer to this community, dude. You and William and Edward Boy and all your friends are a cancer to the YouTube community. Every one of you is a cancer to this community because you ruin YouTube as a fucking community, as a whole. You ruin shit 
for people like me that actually want to do good shit. And Nick, I do hold you responsible for Jamie's death. You did kill her. You did kill those two prostitutes. There's more than enough proof to back it up. Because everything's right there on Jamie's channel. Let's be honest, Nick. You're a piece of trailer trash. Your content is garbage. Matter of fact, I don't get friends with Kiwi Farms now. Shout out to Kiwi Farms. What's up, guys? And let me tell you, Kiwi Farms don't like you very much, Nick. They hate your ass. They respect the living fuck out of me, though. Because they see now that you drug me into this shit. You targeted me. You targeted me because I look different. You targeted me because I look different. And they see that. They see what's going on. And they just say they are not too fucking happy with you at all. Kiwi Farms does not like you because of the shit that you've done, dude. Now, let's be honest, Nick. The only reason why you didn't get charged with the murder of those two prostitutes isn't because you didn't do it, because you did. The only reason why you didn't get charged was due to lack of evidence. So they had to let you off. Just, dude, I read the records. They only let you go because there was lack of evidence proving it. But at the end of the day, dude, everybody knows what you did. You killed those two prostitutes, and then a couple years later, you end up killing your own fucking girlfriend. By giving her the same fucking drugs... That were found in her system during the autopsy. Which were the same drugs that she was hooked on. That you knew that she would OD on. Which is the same drugs that you guys were caught doing on a live stream in the motel room on her channel. Was I part of that stream? No, but I fucking saw the footage. I was right there in the chat watching. Even Kiwi Farms finds it pretty sus that the same drugs that were found in her system during the autopsy were the very same ones that you had given her a month prior that she was coming down off of because she was a drug addict. And yes, Nick, I do hold you responsible for that shit with Mass Troll Mafia. I do hold you responsible for that. Because you could have stepped in and said, no, I'm not going to let you do this. But you didn't do that, did you? No. And I'm pretty sure you were the one that came up with the plan. Because it seems pretty odd that Candle calls me a pedophile several years prior just so she can start shit and then you turn around and pull that shit on me. If you ask me, shit's adding up way too much, Nick. Sounds to me like you got a lot to hide, buddy boy. Sounds like you got a lot of skeletons in your closet, kid. But like I said, man, I left YouTube to get away from the bullshit. 
I left YouTube so I could heal mentally and physically, which I'm currently working on doing. You did not chase me off. Nobody ran me off. I left on my very own accord. I left on my own by choice. Nobody scared me off. Nobody made me leave. No. I left on my own. Oh, and Nick, give up the fucking lie about you having what I have, because we all know you don't. You're just trying to get people to sympathize for you. That's all it is. You want people to feel bad for you. So you run around making up all these lies. Talking about how, oh, I have this. No, you don't. I have clear evidence. I can show it. My head, my feet. My legs, my arms, my back. I can show physical evidence right here, motherfucker. Dermatitis, eczema all up and down my arms, eczema all up and down my legs. My foot's fucking swollen, as you can tell. So, yeah, I do actually have it, motherfucker. You don't. I actually have full-on proof of this shit. You don't. You're just trying to make people feel bad for you. Because you want to try to get me on panel, and I won't do it. I refuse to get on panel with you ever again. And I am not going to rage out like you want. And I know what you're thinking. Well, you're raging out right now. No, I'm not. It's called I am fucking annoyed. By your fucking insolence. And your retardedness. And your inability to actually be a grown ass adult. And actually do something with your fucking life. Other than sit on the internet. And talk shit. And target people that don't deserve it. I didn't deserve you targeting me back in 2017. I don't even know you in real life like that, nigga. You don't know me in real life. So, Marty, N-word boy, William, I'm telling all three of you right now to stay the fuck away from me. Stay away from my shit. Stay off of my channel. Stay off of my shit. Stay away from my shit. Because if you do not, I will be reporting every single one of you to YouTube, and you will be dealt with accordingly. Because what you guys are doing is not creating content. You're creating a toxic fucking environment where newer YouTubers that want to come up aren't going to be able to. You're ruining the YouTube ecosystem, man. You're literally ruining it for everyone. Because you guys are greedy as fuck. You guys are greedy as fuck. That's why you don't want anybody but you guys making money. You don't want your victims making money. So what do you do? You do to them like you did to me. And force them into a position where it's very hard. And then when they fight back. You target their family. You target their friends. And when their friends fight back, you dox their personal information. Thinking that it's going to scare them. Thinking that you're going to scare them off. And then when they still don't do it, what do you do? You guys continue to do to them like you did to me. And you send police to their house. You send hookers, strippers. You send all kinds of fucking people to their house just so you can fuck with them. And that's not cool. You guys are literally what is wrong with YouTube. You guys are everything that is wrong with YouTube. Nick and William and Edward boy. 
You guys are the very thing that is wrong with YouTube. You and all your friends like Jay Sins. You guys are what's wrong with this fucking platform. And trust me, I've made YouTube very well aware of what's going on. They are very well aware of the situation. And they are currently take, they are currently getting a handle on it. You know, it's funny. You guys sit there and you say that I'm a pedophile, but yet that goes right back around to the very beginning. If I was really a pedophile, I would have been arrested the fucking day the cops showed up. I would have been arrested the day that the detectives showed up. Hell, I would have been arrested the day that that FBI agent showed up to talk to me not too long ago. But you know what's funny? Not a three of them ever fucking touched me when it came to that shit. They all said the same thing, that I am being targeted by you guys for money. So yeah, your little fucking pedophile fucking shit ain't working no more. That excuse don't work no more, motherfuckers. That excuse out the window. Sayonara. See you later. I swear, man, y'all need to stop fucking making excuses and making up reasons to go after me when really all I'm trying to do is mind my own business as a fucking streamer and do my motherfucking job. And part of my job is called entitled little fucking bitches like you, Nick, and self-entitled lots like you, N-word boy, and arrogant fucking little pricks like you, William Glory, bitch. Swear to God, man, y'all are so self-fucking entitled. You guys think that, that, like, you guys think that you guys run everything, but really you don't run shit. You're a bunch of keyboard warriors sitting on the internet talking shit all day. While people like me are out here working our fucking asses off, trying to figure out how the fuck am I going to get my content off the ground? How am I going to do what I need to do? While people like me are out here actually problem-solving shit and trying to help other up-and-coming YouTubers, you're out here talking shit up on the internet like you're some Billy Badass. But really, you ain't jack shit. You're soft as fuck, Nick. And so are you, N-word boy. And William, you're just a fucking coward, dude. All three of you are fucking chicken shits and cowards. And you want to know how I know this? Because in real life, the shit y'all talk, you would never do in real life. Like I said, Nick, I don't care what excuse you give the public. You and I both fucking know, dude. You and I both fucking know that I did not deserve you targeting me. I didn't deserve you targeting me, you lazy fuck. Before 2017, I didn't even fucking know you, dude. And it's funny, you sit there and say that you need that I need you. No, no, no. It, it's pretty clear that you need me. It's pretty damn clear that you need me. And you want to know how I know this? Because every time I disappear, you guys get mad. You guys get angry. You do all this shit to get me up on panel, which tells me that you need me. I don't need you. Every time I disappear from YouTube, all of a sudden you guys start attacking me. You start attacking my family. You start blowing up my family's phone numbers. You start sending police to our house. You start sending random people to our house. Sounds to me like you're the ones that need me. I don't need you. I never needed you. And I never will need you guys. I was doing just fine on my own without you before. I'm doing just fine right now without you guys. I guarantee you in a year from now, I'll still be doing fine without y'all. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a real fucking life to get back to. Okay? I have family and friends to hang out with. Plus, I have another doctor's appointment today. So, uh, yeah. Nick, 
fair warning. Stay out of my shit. Stay away from me. And tell your little fuck buddy troll friends to fuck off and stop screwing with me. Because if they don't, I will be sending every little bit of hard ass evidence to YouTube staff. And you'll be dealt with accordingly. Fair warning. Stay away. Or I'm getting a hold of YouTube staff and telling them exactly what's going on. Your call, boys. Either leave me alone or you guys are in deep fucking shit. I'm tired of this. I'm tired of not being able to live my life how I fucking want. I'm tired of not being able to be who the fuck I want to be. I'm tired of not being able to be my old self again. Well, guess what? This time, you ain't stopping shit, motherfuckers. None of you are. Not, you, not your little friend, Jay Sins. Not Edward Boy. Not nobody. I am going to be myself again eventually, come hell or high water. And I will not rest until that day happens. And if you don't like it, well, I'm sorry. It's not your fucking life to live. It's mine. And if you don't like that, kick rocks. Now, if you excuse me, I have a doctor's appointment to get ready for. Oh, and the Marty and William and then we're boy and Jay, a.k.a. Jay Sins, a.k.a. the wannabe Marilyn Manson. I have just one thing to say to you. Fuck you and fuck the troll community. You guys are a joke. You guys are a cancer. And you guys will be gotten rid of effectively and eradicated effectively from the YouTube platform and from social media. And I will make sure of it. And I will not stop our rest until you guys are eradicated from the face of social media. Because it's people like you guys that eradicate good content for garbage content. You guys are a cancer to this platform. And I'll make sure every single one of you is eradicated from this platform. Because it's my job as a YouTube content creator to make sure that the people that want to see my shit are able to see it without being attacked. It's my job as a YouTube content creator to let YouTube know, hey, there's something going on that you might need to know about. And I'll be damned if I sit here and I let a bunch of assholes like you fucking slide. Fuck that. I didn't let motherfuckers slide before you. I ain't going to let people slide after you. And I sure as fuck ain't going to let y'all slide now. Fuck that. You guys are going to get shut down. I am going to make sure of it. I'm going to make sure that the whole world knows the gross, disgusting, vile shit that you guys have done. And I'm going to make sure that you guys are eradicated and the troll community is eradicated from the face of social media. I am going to make sure of it one way or another. I don't care if I have to continue to expose your crimes. I don't care if I have to continue to do whatever I need to do. But I'm going to make sure that you guys are done for, for good. Because people like me, good content creators, are tired of seeing this shit. We don't want this kind of shit. We want good, wholesome, fun content. Not the kind of garbage drama that you guys bring. Because newsflash, yeah, drama might sell, but it don't last forever, motherfuckers. It don't. Eventually, people get bored of it and they move on. So like I said, Nick, you and your friends have two options. Either delete 
all three of your guys' channels and leave social media for good. Actually, there's three options. You can either do like I just said, or you and all three of your friends can leave me the fuck alone, stay out of my shit, and go about doing whatever you do without me involved. You know, go after other people like White Bowser, Tony, you know, people like that. Or a third option. You guys cannot do either of the first two. And I could take all the evidence off your guys' streams. I could show it to YouTube and they will be dealing with you personally. So, I mean, it's really up to you. Either delete your channels and get off social media or leave me the fuck alone. And stop coming after me and stop trying to make shit about me and throw jabs at me and stop trying to get me on panel. Because I'm never going on panel with you again, Marty. That's just, just how it is. I'm never getting on panel with you again. I don't care who the fuck you drag out there. I don't fucking care. I don't care if you drag your mom, your dad, your aunt, your uncle. I don't care if you drag Sleepy Joe bitch Biden out there, bro. You could drag Joe Biden up there and I still wouldn't get up on panel with you. You can have fucking Cthulhu up on there and I still wouldn't get up on there. You can have Satan himself up on panel with you and I still wouldn't get on there. You could say that you got Jesus, God, on panel and I still wouldn't get up on there. Because you ain't fucking worth it. Your content is trash, just like you. Now, if you three idiots will excuse me, I have to get ready for a dungeon appointment. Oh, and then Marty, expect this to be the final. And I mean the final video aimed at you or the trolls. Because I'm not responding to you no more. I'm not giving you any kind of clout. I'm not doing that. Get done. Finish. Finito. Sayonara. Your money supply of me? Bye bye. Down the drain. Fuck you. Bend over and push up daisies. Kick rocks and hit the road, Jack. Your money supply, as of the end of the stream, is being cut. So, Marty, fuck you, loser. Take that out and sit with it, man. Oh, and uh, hashtag fuck the troll community. Hashtag make YouTube great again. Hashtag eradicate the troll community.